Hi friends! Now contrary to how we've been feeling over the past year or two, right now there's a lot of reasons to be excited about living compared to any other time in the past. Why? Technology! Imagine our ancestors that spent the whole day hunting and gathering all day just so they could eat and here I am getting groceries delivered to me fresh just so they can sit in my fridge and get moldy after two days. Ah, oh, the privilege. But this technology boom isn't perfect. A ton of new tech has serious issues when it comes to gender, ethnicity, ableism, class, age, appearance. I could go on and on, okay? But today I want to focus on tech's biggest issue, race. To start, let's talk about self-driving cars. This has been the dream of every futuristic cartoon I grew up on. If if I get drunk, my car will drive me home. It's just like the Jetsons intended. But then it's like self-driving cars also are less likely to see people with darker skin and thus crash into them. Minor details. Yeah, that sounds like technology that could exist in a world with only white people. So again, just like the Jetsons. Then there's facial recognition software. In theory, it's supposed to help keep communities safe and catch criminals. Like totally dope CSI stuff. But facial recognition keeps misidentifying and targeting people of color. And I'm just saying, your tech has to be pretty innovative to find a way to make America's racial profiling problem even worse. Well, let's talk about stuff that's even super minor. Let's talk about automated soap dispensers. That, I mean, those can't be problematic, right? Are you serious? Even soap dispensers treat darker skin differently. Uh, excuse me, how did we manage to make airport bathrooms just as racist as airport security? Now I admit that last one isn't as important, but it's the principle behind it. Because as this tech evolves, it will become more and more part of our everyday life. And new technology is supposed to make everyday life easier, but what we're seeing is a two-way split. People who already have relatively easy lives, their lives are just getting easier. And people who have it kind of hard, if we don't figure this out, their life is gonna get harder. Let's talk about social media, for example. Okay, these apps should be making it easier than ever to participate in political activism. And yet, Black Lives Matter activists were buried under an algorithm and told that it was a glitch that silenced their hashtag. And not too long ago, Twitter had to apologize yet again because of a racist photo cropping algorithm that basically focuses on white faces over black ones. Twitter users actually tested this out by posting photos like this. And every single time, Twitter would crop to just show the white face. It even happened with cartoon characters. This got cropped to this. It even cropped out black dogs. This got cropped to this. What? At this point, I'm shocked I ever saw a Black Panther ad on Twitter. There was even one study that said if your activity on Instagram suggested that you were black, there was a 50% more chance that your account would be disabled. What does it even mean to have activity that suggests you're black? What does that mean? That you post hilarious memes that get co-opted by white people? Once again, this is proof of how much representation matters. Because these tech giants week after week have reports coming out like discrimination in the workplace, employees quitting because of lack of diversity, diversity or people just quitting because they don't want to be part of the problem. A lot of these issues would be resolved if these tech companies actually had people of color in the room when testing these products that are eventually going to run the world. The soap dispensers don't work because you never bothered testing them on people with darker skin. So frustrating. I've been living my entire life just assuming that soap dispensers were always empty in public bathrooms. I didn't realize getting liquid soap to come out of one of those things was like trying to get into a country club, but now I know. Tech companies, you need to hire people of color with diverse perspectives. And then you need to give them a platform to speak up. Then you need to actually listen to them. And if you do, I promise your tech will do better. Otherwise, you're just tokenizing them. You know, like they're an Asian character in a Wes Anderson film. It's time for tech to stop being racist, or you know what, to put it in words you'll understand. Let's disrupt white supremacy market with black blockchain capable of not being a jerk. Hashtag Bitcoin. Thanks so much for watching this clip and thank you even more for supporting The Underdog. If you want to subscribe to this channel, you can click right over there. For more clips just like this one that are hilarious, you can click right over there. Hopefully, if someone did their job, those things are there. We'll see.